Antonio Borge, EU Commissioner Designate for Health and Consumer Affairs, has completed his biggest public test with style and probably also successfully. For three hours, members of the three parliamentary committees affected by his brief had grilled the current Maltese Foreign Minister on policies, beliefs and communication skills. Sur les questions de santé, euh, on sent qu'il y a une vraie volonté euh, de poursuivre euh, les actions euh, entreprises. J'espère que nous pourrons effectivement compter sur sa vigilance et sur son, son autorité et son courage pour défendre les points de vue du Parlement. The post had become vacant because his predecessor John Daly had to resign amidst a lobbying scandal. But even before the hearing, Borges strongly held Catholic conservative views on issues such as abortion, gay, lesbian and transgender rights, and his tough stance on immigration brought namely liberal members to call for his rejection. Malta may be a socially conservative country, but even by its standards, your views seem to be on the extreme side. So why should I vote for you? Malta's outgoing vice premier countered by promising to be a European and not a Maltese commissioner to abide by the European Charter of Fundamental Rights and to concentrate on his portfolio. My endeavor for the current mandate would be to deliver for patients and consumers but by what I would call the three C's, ensuring continuity, rebuilding confidence, and giving my full commitment to completion of the tasks at hand. This combination did seem to convince a clear majority of members to perhaps not embrace him enthusiastically, but to give him a chance. Fragen, die uns im Binnenmarktausschuss bewegen, da war er weniger gut vorbereitet. Da wird er noch dazu lernen müssen, das ist ganz klar. Deswegen, ja, okay, aber ein großes Aber trotzdem. Political group leaders will decide on Thursday whether to support him. Parliament as a whole will vote during next week's plenary session.